Hello and welcome to Tino House Farm Off the Farm. Today we're doing a grocery haul. It's the beginning of the month. It's been a really long time since I've done a grocery haul video, so I thought I'd do one today. Um, we are going to three stores today to try to get the best deals. Our goal today is $300 in food and $100 in other supplies, like we need dog food and some household stuff. Um, and it's going to be a little tight to get everything. It used to be we would spend between, I don't know, five, six hundred dollars a month to feed our family, including household supplies. You guys know we use a lot of reusable items. I buy very few disposable items. Um, and now, in the last year, because inflation keeps creeping up, um, it's getting real close to a thousand dollars, which just seems absolutely ridiculous. Um, so we do our very best to be as frugal as possible. We'll show you how we do it. We'll show you what we get. But um, yeah, so let's go shopping. Okay, we got our list. That's really gonna help us stay on budget here, trying to really stick to the list of what we need. Our first stop is going to be Walmart. And Walmart, I'm really only going to get the household supplies here. I find that it's cheapest here for what we're needing. It also has the brands I like of like the dog food for our dog and things like that. So it's just a quick stop at Walmart for a few things. And then we're on to stop two, which is Aldi, where we're gonna get the bulk of what we need. And then the few things that we can't get at Aldi, we're gonna get at Sam's Club. Once we get home, it's a race against the clock because there's a big storm coming and we don't have a garage and nobody wants to drag groceries in, in the rain. So it's a bit of a rush to get everything in. Um, using our reusable bags that we made, and I'll link the sewing instructions before, these are made out of old feed bags, allows me to get a lot of groceries in in one big handful. These things are nice and sturdy and they're super deep because they're old feed bags, which is awesome. Okay, we're back. So I will mention here, because I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning, if you've been with us a really long time, you've known that when I do grocery hauls, we focus usually on low waste and we were whole foods only for a really long time. None of those things are true anymore. Because of inflation, the first thing that went out the window was the focus on the type of waste packaging we were producing because just could not afford to buy sustainable packaging for everything. Um, and then the next thing that went out the window was the whole foods. Um, we had done it for a long time, in seeing if it would help our daughter with special medical needs. Didn't feel like it made two cents of a difference. And so it got, I know it's better for us in general, but it got so expensive lately that we've dropped that as well. So this is a pretty normal American-ish diet, I feel like. We do still try our best to do no color dyes. I do feel like that makes a difference. And I try to watch sugar, but as you'll see in our snacks, um, if you watch some older grocery haul videos, which I'll link below, we used to do zero sugar snacks and stuff, or zero like white sugar snacks. I made a lot of them myself. We sweetened them all with like honey and used fresh butter and all that kind of stuff. Just can't afford to anymore, period. Hopefully maybe when Sam starts his new job in a few months, that'll help make up for what inflation has done to our grocery costs. But this is how I can manage to feed everybody and make sure everyone has good full bellies and somewhat balanced nutrition. So let me show you what we're doing to make that happen. The totals today, the goal was $100 for household supplies, $300 for groceries. I ended up at $311 for groceries, so real close, and it was $130 for household supplies. And I'll show you why that went over. I bought something special that I don't usually buy. So this is what $120, $130 in household supplies got us. That really big bag of dog food was about $35, so that's a big chunk of it. And then got a 12 pack of toilet paper. We still do use family cloth and have toilet paper available and that really helps to cut down our toilet paper expense for such a large family because toilet paper is also very expensive. This will not last me a whole month, obviously, but I shouldn't need to buy any more until I do another big shop in about two and a half weeks. Okay, and then over here, we have some wipes and some diapers. We have cloth diaper during the day, but we use disposables at night. So these are for Patton, and a package has 21 diapers in it, so that'll last us a little more than half the month. Okay, I have some dish soap. We do make our own dish soap. I'll link that below, but I found that Blue Dawn is great for stain removing, so I always have some on hand. And also, if we're just washing something that has sat way too long and is real crusty, nothing gets a clean like Blue Dawn. So we do use our homemade dish soap for the majority of dishes, but I always keep some of that on hand for those special cases. 
we need wasp spray because it's summer and they're trying to build nests everywhere outside our house. And then the special thing I bought, which really boosted up our price, I got three pairs of these. They were $15 each at Walmart um, because we're going on a trip in a few weeks with the big girls and I want to make sure that they have decent headphones because on the airplane, there's not really much to do and so they're going to be able to use their iPads. I want to make sure they have headphones to be able to watch their movies. So this here is basically all Walmart. Um, at Walmart, I just bought the household stuff. I have found that it's the cheapest place to buy a lot of that stuff, even compared to Aldi. Next up, we went to Aldi. That's the bulk of this food stuff. Uh, if you've watched us for a long time too, you know that I've said before, I don't really like shopping at Aldi. There's a couple of reasons. One, the aisles are really small. It's difficult to bring a lot of children to Aldi. And two, I feel like the produce goes bad super fast. So what I do now, because everything else at Aldi is so much cheaper than anywhere else, is um, when we, we do our big shopping, the beginning of the month, and I'll do another one around the 15th, another two to $300 haul. And then on Saturdays, I go to our small local market here, and that's where I get most of our fresh produce and our milk, because I feel like the quality is just better, and the produce especially lasts a lot longer. So if you're looking at this, you're like, there's like no milk for such a big family or that's not very much fruit. It's because I don't buy it at these big box stores. I buy it locally. So our budget is about $300 at the beginning of the month in food, somewhere around two to $300 around the 15th. And then every Saturday, I usually spend about 75 to $100 at the local store. And that's all fresh veg, fresh produce and milk. We drink a lot of milk because there's a lot of us. And that's how I get up to that between nine and a thousand dollars in groceries right now, which just still sounds absolutely ridiculous to say, because I do not feel like it is a ridiculous amount of food because we still have our freezer pantry, we still have our ma massive canning pantry. There's lots of things that we're gonna be eating from those this month too, so this is not everything we eat. Okay, one bonus of Aldi is their snacks are really cheap. So I have a snack basket, the literal basket that the kids can pick from. And I put some yummy, but not good for you things in there and some better for you things in there. And then they usually have a uh, snack in the afternoon. They can pick something from the basket. And what happens first is the good, the not good for you things will go first. And then they'll be left with the good for you things to whine about next week. So to load it up for the next couple of weeks, we have fruit snacks. We have a couple boxes of mini muffins. These are Ivy's favorite peanut butter wafers. Got some pastry bars, uh, fruit leather strips, applesauce cups. There's a couple packs of raisins. Ivy loves honey buns too, so I got those for her. And then I got this trail mix because it was marked down on clearance. I'm just gonna mix it up and put it in a half gallon mason jar and they can have little cups of that for a snack too if they want. Um, the only meat that we buy is basically lunch meats. Um, everything else, you know, we raise ourselves or have bought from a local farmer. So meat is not in my normal grocery budget. And so the only meats we bought today, we bought some pepperoni because the kids really like to snack on it. Bought a little bit of turkey for sandwiches. The kids aren't huge on lunch meat, but Sam really likes a lunch meat sandwich. So this small pack will go pretty far. And then Sam specifically asked for bacon for breakfast. So... We're about a pack of bacon in the morning for our size family. So I got two packs. One will go in the freezer. And I'm looking right there. That doesn't look good. And that's really disappointing. So I guess we'll have to throw that away. I guess you have to check both sides of your packages before you buy. All right. And then also at Aldi, we have um, some mac and cheese. We also have the really cheap box mac and cheese. And we've got some ranch dressing, got mayo, mustard, and salt because I was running really low on those and I always try to keep extras in the pantry. We've got a few cups of yogurt. I don't necessarily like to buy these because um, they go really fast and they're a little bit more expensive. And with the fruit on the bottom, the kids need help to eat them. And they also make a big mess when they try to stir them themselves. So for the kids, I try to do these yogurt tubes because they're basically mess-free and they're really easy to pack on the go for days when we have to eat dinner in the car because of gymnastics. So I don't have to worry about them making a mess with that. In the back of the car, they can have these. And I will say Aldi, almost everything at Aldi is food dye free. So even these things are natural colors, which is one of the few things that we're still really trying to stick to. Got a lot of chips, got two bags of tortilla chips, several bags of wavy potato chips, and a bag of the sour cream and onion. Um, 
two bags of flour. I keep flour in five gallon buckets in my pantry. We're running a little low in Sam's Club. Um, their flour just seemed really expensive this week. So I just got two from Aldi and we'll keep an eye on a bulk deal somewhere. We also got some bread at Aldi, so just two loaves of sandwich bread, and the girls wanted bagels for breakfast tomorrow, so I got those mini bagels. We needed more Nutella, so that'll last us quite a while. And then Annie used her puppy dog please face and got me to buy some Frosted Flakes, so there's that. We don't eat a lot of cereal because it's very expensive per bowl for the size of our family. So I make breakfast pretty much every morning, even if it's just oatmeal. Cereal is for Sundays only when we're in a hurry. I did get some produce at Aldi. I'll come around to the other side. But this will be gone in a couple days. So I got three packs of strawberries, but somebody already ate most of one. I got some baby carrots and some big carrots and celery around here celery and this is for a canning project coming up then a bag of apples and michael loves kiwi so we got a bag of kiwi just a thing of blueberries and a cantaloupe believe it or not all that fruit will be gone probably three or four days when we'll restock at our local store um i got just one bag of cheddar cheese and some cheese slices for sandwiches Sam will be a little bit sad on these. He really only likes the Kraft American Singles, but they were almost $6 for 16 slices, and I just can't make that happen. So this is like $1.89 for 16 slices. Um, got some onions, got some cream cheese for those bagels, and two boxes of butter. One change that I've reluctantly had to make is I can only really use butter now for cooking, and we're just having to use the cheap margarine for like pancakes and toast and stuff. Butter, even at Aldi, is just too expensive. I just can I cannot keep up with the amount of butter that people put on things and the amount it costs. So that's our spready butter for meals when you have to spread butter on something. And that's my good butter for cooking. Hopefully one day we can head back to just using real butter because I know that margarine is not that good for you. But for right now, it's one of the changes we're having to make to make sure that we can buy everything we need. And uh, the last couple things I got at Aldi were... The kids begged for some whipped cream, so I got that for him. Just one gallon of milk to hold us through till I go to the local store and a gallon of orange juice for the same reason. The kids were asking for some juice juice for breakfast, so we got that. And then just two, two dozen eggs. We do have laying ducks and geese, and we have some laying chickens, but they're a little bit too young to lay right now. So I don't need dozens and dozens of eggs for the family, but I do need some more than we produce right now. So that, that'll last me several weeks. Lastly, we went to Sam's Club and just got a few things that they didn't have at Aldi or that they, specific brands that the kids like. Um, we actually we got the Nutella at Sam's Club. I think I might have said that about Aldi. The girls like smart food, but only the smart food brand, not the Aldi brand. So we got the giant bag at Sam's Club. Got a big bag of tortillas. I'll cut, I'll split this in half and freeze half of it. Um, for the second half of the month. Ivy loves to make quesadillas in the microwave and the little kids we really like peanut butter roll-ups. So we go through a lot of tortillas. Um, several of the big kids absolutely love these, but only this brand of the Angus cheeseburgers from Sam's Club. These are a more expensive item. I buy them once a month and um, each kid can have half of one. So there's 10 cheeseburgers in here, but I turn that into 20. So you divide that by six and you realize they get, oh, like four, a little less than four meals, lunches out of this. Somebody will get gypped at the end, usually Pat, he'll end up with a hot dog or something, but um, they love those. So we always get those for them. I uh, got some squeezy applesauce pouches for Pat. It's easy for him to eat on the go. The big kids steal those too. I got this giant box of classic uh, just chip individual size bags. This is something that I've stopped buying lately because they've gotten really expensive. Um, at Walmart, it's $14 for a package of 18. You do the math, it's almost a dollar per little bag. Not, not gonna do that anymore. But at Sam's Club today, it was um, like $16 for 50 bags, which is a much better deal. And so I grabbed them because these are really nice to have for days when we're on the go. And also because not all the kids like the same kind of chips. So somebody will be unhappy with what we selected over there. And so they can be happy with something in there. 
they really wanted freezer popsicles. So I found these at Sam's Club because they're the only ones I could find that didn't have artificial dyes in it. This was not cheap. This was like $11 for 35 pops. I, I Even if these are delicious, I don't know that I'll spend that much again. But I had promised them I'd come home with popsicles. And I didn't really think about how expensive it would be to find something that didn't have artificial dyes. This will keep them happy for a little bit in the summer. But uh, I don't know that we'll buy those again because that was really expensive. Um, corn dogs, because Micah May specifically requested corn dogs. So those will be available for some lunches. Those are for me and Sam. Late night, midnight snacks. And then Sam asked for some Dr. Pepper to pack in his lunches to keep him awake on his 12-hour shifts at the hospital. And then we finished up with this case of water, which makes me a little sad because you guys know I hate plastic waste. But our Berkey filter over there that we bought back when we were a family of four is way too small. And in the summer, when you are out mowing the lawn or out working in the garden, there is absolutely nothing worse than coming inside and realizing that baby is empty and you got to make wait 20 minutes for a stupid drink of water so in the summer we always keep a case of water on hand so that there is always water available on those really hot days when you're outside working you don't have to worry about the kids emptying that and not refilling it and that's it that's what uh some frugal shopping um hopping stores to get best deals gets you i actually feel like that's that's pretty good considering <laughs> Um, obviously that money would have gone a lot farther a few years ago, but making those changes, lowering our expectations when it comes to the food we eat has allowed us to at least keep bellies really nice and full, um, on a budget that we can afford. And hopefully, like I said, Sam will start a new job in September, which will pay much better than where we are now. And we'll be able to make some lifestyle changes, at least being able to be more picky, maybe do more local farmer's market shopping, which I would really love to do is something that we've just never really been able to afford to do. So thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.